sincerity, selflessness, perseverance. Only a few of the qualities that made up the man, David Hom. Looking to pass, turning up. Consistency, friend, in every sense of the word, courageous. These are the thoughts that, that, that come to mind when I think of David Hom. He was so darn funny. I mean, he would keep things light, even things, even when things weren't looking so bright. He got along with everybody. Once you knew him, you loved him. You know, he was that kind of person. Born and raised in Las Vegas, Nevada, Hum went on from setting multiple Big Eight passing records at Nebraska to being drafted by the team that would later become an enormous part of his identity. In 1975, when he, he came from Nebraska, uh, as an All-American. You know, he was a real easygoing, humble guy and, you know, fit right in. I'm absolutely ecstatic to be drafted by the Raiders. Couldn't have been happier. To go to a situation with Kenny Stabler, a lefty out of Alabama, I, it couldn't have been better. They were locker roommates. There was a great friendship and great love between them. My dad would talk about Mr. Hum and said he was a lot like himself. He was a great quarterback, but he also was a, a better person off the field with the hugest heart. Just an, an incredible man. I think that my dad was super fortunate to be able to be able to work with, with David. Throughout his decade-long pro football career, Hum experienced some of the greatest moments in Raiders history firsthand during two stints with the team. Dave was always smiling. He was a positive force on this team. After hanging up his cleats, number 11 progressed into a role with the Raiders radio game day broadcast team. It's time to talk a little Raider football. Always great to talk to the Hummer. I'll tell you what, just been bored to death. Just waiting for football to get here. Even after he, you know, MS uh, hit him, he's Still, instead of traveling to the games, he had his own studio and his own house. This is a young team. When you when you look at this team and the future of it, it really looks great. So I think that we, we're looking at a great future here. When David was doing radio, we talked and compared notes, I think, a little bit about uh, life after football. It's well known that David loved his daughter, loved, loved the Raiders, loved football. Uh, and he wasn't afraid to show it. I want to take a moment to remember a gem of a human being who really brightened so many people's lives in our community. I think he is such an example of, of an incredible man, not only a football player, but a dad, a, a friend, a brother. People knew him, loved him. Uh, he did a lot of things for the community, uh, people in need. He didn't turn his back on anyone. He had a great attitude. I can remember uh, him saying that every time he went in the locker room and he saw his equipment hanging up, that it was he was happy. <laughs> so I mean, that's a good memory of him. A life lived with profound gratitude, David Hum left an impact on all who knew him. And while he is gone, he will never be forgotten.